welcome to episode 35 of The Commit. I'm Richard. And I'm Neil. Folks, this week we got a special treat for you. Richard's going to be interviewing Jade, who's going to tell us about her journey from freelancing to the hacker school, all the way to Clarify, one of our favorite companies. So Richard, take it away. Hey Jade, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. So I wanted to learn a little bit about how you ended up as a front-end developer at Clarifier. Let's like backtrack a little bit. Where did you get your start? Um, I started working as an SEO writer, and then like gradually, clients wanted to uh, wanted me to write more formatted content, so like HTML, and then from then styling, and then it just snowballed into me doing an entire site. So you ended up in trouble. People kept asking for more, so you had to <laughs> yeah. keep learning more and more development. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's cool. And then while you were doing this, you decided that you wanted to go to the hack school. Yeah, um, about three months in freelancing, I moved to New York, and then I found out about a hacker school then, now Raker Center, and then I applied. That's cool. So you were telling me earlier that hacker school is actually really different. It's really unstructured. Mm -hmm. um, it's they they describe themselves as a programmers retreat, oh, um, cool. where you spend like three months there working on projects you are interested in. So really, kind of self guided learning. Mm -hmm. There are no lessons. There there are no teachers or anything like that. You just wow. uh, spend your time working on projects to come up with with other people. That's cool. Like we know a lot of people kind of go through these boot camp experiences and are trying to get the most out of them. Like what advice would you have to people that are like either going through something that's pretty unstructured like hacker school or maybe something that's a little bit more lesson driven? How do you think people can get the most out of that? I think uh, the most important lesson I took away from uh, my experience is don't get don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and just really uh, code, start writing code. Um, lesson, reading and online lessons would help, but really what uh, helped me uh, learn a lot was the uh, process of just sitting on my computer and coding. And like keep going until it works and until mm -hmm. you kind of figure it out. Yes. Right? Awesome. So after high school, then, so you end up at Clarify. Like, t tell me about the process of like, finding a job. How was that for you? Like, finding your first kind of full-time programming gig. How, mm -hmm. how did that go? I didn't go directly from hacker school to uh, Clarify, oh, okay. but my previous job, uh, I found it through networking events. I think it really helped, like meeting people and learning. Even if you don't get a job through that, um, just Talking to other people and uh, about their experiences helped me um, get my first job. And then uh, I joined a lot of mailing lists, which is how I found out about Clarify looking for a role that I thought I would fit in, and then like, oh, I cool. applied. So you'd really recommend people like, get connected into the community, mm -hmm. attend lots of meetups. Yeah, yeah. I, I think there's some great opportunities there. What do you like about Clarify? What, what's, uh, what, kind of, what are you doing there exactly these days? Um, I am part of the front end team. Yeah, so we build a lot of applications that consumes our uh, API. That's cool. And we see the API used at like so many hackathons. A lot of people I, do some cool stuff. I do see that too. That's pretty great. Do you have any like favorite things that people have done with Clarify? Anything that like you've seen that really got you excited? Um, I saw one that had to do with uh, analyzing your Instagram photos and then determining what sort of personality you are. That sounds kind of terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> it was, but I thought, wow, that's a pretty uh, original idea, something uh, I've never seen before. Pretty great. Totally. Well, thanks so much. I think there's some like, great takeaways from this. So, like, you know, really focus on just like getting stuck into the code, keep building until it works, and yeah. then, you know, moving on from the boot camp to like really building your career you've got to get out there and meet people and network i think that's definitely fun thanks for the time jay you're welcome so speaking of clarify that actually ties in really well to staff picks for this week so this week i picked quick caption which um, uses clarify and your social media accounts so what you can do is you can take a picture and then clarify will analyze it and give you a list of hashtags Okay. So then you can select all those hashtags and then share it directly to social media and it'll already include all those hashtags for you. So you can be really lazy, but still go viral. I love that. I want a lot of hashtags, but I don't really have time to like think through them all myself. I know, there's, there's a lot going on in that brain of yours. There's a lot. 
A lot was going on in my brain during South by Southwest, and that's where my staff bit comes from, Secret Set. So DevPost powered the music hackathon there, Neil, and it was all about creating new products and new services, the ways that artists and their fans can interact. Secret Set allows artists to create customized playlists that actually go out to their fans, so it's their set. It could contain video and images, and this also allows them to monetize this as well. Right, it actually won Best Commerce Hack. Yeah, definitely. Great project. Check it out. All right, folks, that's all we got for episode 35. Hope to see you next week. Happy hacking. Happy hacking.